Hi Aquarius, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of April the 3rd to the 10th, 2017. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing and subscribing to these videos on YouTube every single week. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But if you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I can do that for you in a private reading. So I welcome and invite you to go to my website. And that is www.brendatarot.info. spelled T -A -R -O, dot info. Or you can go up here and push that button and magically you're going to be sent into my website in my room. We start our week with an air card. Aquarius and you have been given the three of air and air cards have to do with dealing with the injustice that people bring into our lives and having to make fair and just decisions and choices that involve them and it's challenging and it also has to do with the legal system, the justice system, lawyers and, and courts and such but this is telling me they show me sadness right now and they call it great sadness and you need to take time to heal and, and the only way you're going to take time to heal is the word they use is forgiveness. So please allow that to come into your heart. Forgive, please, in order for you to heal and get over these issues that perhaps had to do with dealing with someone in the just, with the justice issue. Four of air, again, another air card for Tuesday. And this is telling me that you're so tired dealing with these people and dealing with this illegal issue and this justice issue that some of you have been dealing with that you want to just run away and have a rest and take a vacation and forget the whole darn thing. But you're going to have to allow more time before you make <coughs> this decision because you may not have the time, effort, or the resources to do this. So what they say is you're going to have to right now for the time being Take yourself to meditation. Take yourself to the silence, to that most favorite place that if you could physically be there, you would. And go into the silence. And often we get the answers there that we, we truly need answers to. Crowning your week on Wednesday, you've been given the seven of Earth. And Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives, jobs, careers, professions. And also it has to do with uh, Mother Earth. It is an Earth card, the ecosystem, and our closest circle, which is our families. This tells me that you, it has to do with work. You may have put in a proposal at work and you planted some seeds, okay? Right now there's a temporary standstill and you're worrying, wondering how they received it and how they're going to react to this proposal, to planting these seeds. Well, you need to stop worrying because they call it unnecessary, okay? Unnecessary worry because those seeds that you planted, my friend, you planted well. Well, how about this one? You had three air cards and then you've got the justice. So some of you de definitely are dealing with individuals or the court systems right now. And, and, and you need to, and it's all about you making fair and just decisions involving this situation and these people. Do what you know is right and stand up, my friend, for your beliefs, okay? And it tells me you're trying to make a decision and, you, and you, you're trying to be objective about them. And if you are, they're going to work out in your favor, okay? So do what's right. And there may be uh, an issuing and a receiving of an apology. So there again came that forgiveness word. On Friday, you've been given a water card, the relationship card, and this is the nine. And this is an amazing card, and I tell you they can be romantic or not, but this is definitely a relationship, love relationship, because this is the ultimate love card. Your dreams come true. Stop worrying about this relationship in your love life, and not let all those concerns go, because this is the real deal, my friend. Ace of Earth for Saturday, another Earth card, and this is telling me there's going to be an inflow of money, an inflow of abundance now, um, because I, it's money, because they refer to it as a business, uh, a, a promising business venture, so it's money that's going to be coming in, and I talk about abundance, it can be time, effort, or money, but this is definitely going to be money for some of you, because I do see you signing important documents and contracts as well, to give you that added abundance. 
End of the week on Sunday, you've been given a fire card, the six of fire. And fire cards have to do with setting our creative juices in motion, risk-taking, adventure, and self-development. And this, this card's been coming up on almost every reading, this fire card. It's a victory card. It's good news uh, coming on its way. It's, it's almost like public recognition, and you're going to be getting an award, some of you. This is a great way to end your week on Sunday with great news coming your way. At the end of the reading, I did incorporate that one oracle card, and I changed things up. I didn't go with the Ascended Masters this time. I decided today to go with the Daily Guidance Angel cards, because this is all I do. I work with the Angels, Ascended Masters, the Saints, and the Four Archangels of the Four Directions and Elements. So it just seemed appropriate today that I would start with an angel message, and they gave you this. Release and Surrender. So, you know what? You had the Justice card. You had uh, two of the Air cards, with, which have to do with Justice. Um, you know what? You need to let go of something in order to move forward. Now, whether or not it has to do with, you know, this job that you're moving from uh, to a better job, release it and let it go. It's all for the better. If it's a relationship, let it go. Release and surrender. And also let it go. The negative to bring in the positive. So, I'll read to you what Release and Surrender says here, word for word. Your angels shower you with the blessings of their radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. So let it go. Let God, okay? Open your hands and arms and heart now to their love and assistance. So let it go. That's what I said. Release all of it. Throw it out into the universe so that you can receive the good coming in. I wish you a great remainder to today, Aquarius, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. Again, I leave you with another quote. You're going to come across people in your life who will say all the right words at all the right times. But in the end, it's always their actions you should judge them by. It's actions, not words, my friend, that matter. See you again next week. And know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you.